Welcome to SkySight Help and Training. During this video, we will discuss how to add document revisions into the project. The process of uploading and indexing addenda or revisions is the same as it is for uploading and indexing your first set of documents. Begin by creating a folder. You will want this to be a folder different than the original one you use to ensure proper indexing and avoid duplicate file or document names in a single folder. Like before, you can choose to simply create the folder if you want to build a subfolder below it, or choose Upload Files to this folder to immediately begin the upload process. Choose your indexing option, browse out to your files or drag them into the file window, and choose Upload. It is important to note that if you're adding a revision, you will want to use the same indexing option you selected for the original file to ensure SkySight views this as a revision and not a new document. Let's look at this further by looking at document A2.2plans.pdf. If I initially chose to index this by sheet number, SkySight will have read the document, assigned it as A2.2, and named it as such. I can see in my latest documents folder that this was published or named A2.2 and uploaded as a part of the initial set folder. If I now add a revision but chose to index it by sheet name, SkySight will publish it as the file name of A2.2 plans. In this example, SkySight will logically read A2.2 as a different document to A2.2 plans and, as a result, both instances will exist within the latest documents folder, even though sheet A2.2 plans was actually a revision to sheet A2.2. Once you've selected Upload, SkySight will go through the normal upload and file preparation processes, and you will again see the indication that the files are ready for the final review and publishing steps. Click on the project name to continue. Once the steps are completed, you will again be presented with the review page. Here you can review and add any attributes to the file. If this is a revision to a previous document, SkySight will have added the discipline and description from the previous file. You can overwrite these if necessary. Like before, these attributes can be applied to all documents in the upload through the apply down arrows. Once all attributes are added, press the blue Publish and Continue button to finish the process. As with your original upload of documents, if you have more than 10 documents in this upload, after selecting Publish and Continue, you will be presented with the next set of 10 documents. This will be repeated until you've reviewed all documents and have selected Publish and Continue on the final page. Once done, I am able to see both of my project folders and a count of the number of files in each. If I open my Revision 1 folder, I'm able to see all of the new documents I just uploaded. My Latest Documents folder has also been updated. I'm able to see that my latest documents are a combination of my initial set documents and those I added within Revision 1. From within the Latest Documents folder, I can also choose to view the revision history for any document. When in List View, I will click on the More icon in the right column and choose Revision History. If in Tile Mode, I will click on the More icon in the right column and choose Revision History. The history will show me both versions of the sheet A4.11. I'm able to see that the first version within the initial set has an issue date of December 21st and was replaced within the latest documents folder with the version uploaded in the revision 1 folder on December 29th. I can also see that a sheet description was added when the revision was uploaded. For both versions, I'm able to view that specific version of the document, download it, or order prints. <laughs> 